Hi there everyone, it is currently the 15th of September 2011 and a fairly active day out here in the western Pacific as far as the tropicals are concerned here. Starting off here towards the east, you have Tropical Storm now Sanka. This has developed in the last 24 hours, starting to move off towards the northwest. And also you have Tropical Storm Roki still moving over towards the Ryukyu Islands. But first, I want to dive into Sanka here and uh, just a quick overview on this. It is expected to track off towards the northwest along the western periphery of a subtropical ridge off here towards the east and also an area of high pressure located just east of Honshu and it is expected to move up into this little weakness in both of these uh, areas and here in this troughing right in here as this high pressure does move off towards the west it is expected to retrograde in this way here and that's the reason why this is expected to basically move towards the northwest and eventually curve off towards the northeast as indicated on this model outlook now good news it does not look like it should go above typhoon strength but if it does it would be very weak typhoon strong uh, tropical storm as it does move off towards the northwest passing just east of I will tow and then eventually recurving off in towards the northeast so main concern with this would be some high swells and heavy waves all up and down along the east coast of Japan and some outflow with rain showers producing up in this direction as well and you could see that occurring by the early part of next week actually looking at JMA's forecast here they do bring it off here a little bit farther out here towards the west and eventually start to track it off towards the north before it should likely recurve before making it towards the east coast of Japan here and eventually off towards the northeast. But if it does maintain that westerly projection, as I already noted, you could see some rain showers, heavy rain showers along the east coast of Japan here. Actually here showing a look of JTWC's forecast on this. They do expect a turn a little bit sooner than JMA and also do you expect this to maintain that tropical storm intensity of maxing out at right about 50 knots before it starts to turn off and becoming extra tropical as it skirts off into the northern Pacific. But that's all I got on that one right now. Let's move over towards Tropical Storm Roki. Now, Tropical Storm Roki is a fairly disorganized system today. It does have a lot of circulation amidst of it, but overall, not really too much convection around it. A lot of dry air inflow into the center of the system. You do see some convective bannings near the center, and the highest winds are actually located in this region right here, just east of Okinawa. And actually, a lot of the people that I watched this updates from Okinawa, specifically on Kadena, just do want to mention, I just noted that they uh, went into T core 3 not too long ago expecting those tropical or destructive winds of 50 knots or greater on station within about the next uh, 48 hours as this storm does track off towards the west but noting down here towards the south you see all these convective bannings down here this is actually due to the outflow of this system uh, but the tropical system itself and the highest winds are actually located right around the center of circulation and just looking at this animated you do see it tracking off towards the west but the thing is this is expected to start to stall out here over the Ryukyu Islands here in the next 24 hours and then over out the entire week and you could see uh, tropical storm strength winds basically persisting across the Ryukyu Islands as this does continue to persist uh, basically lingering out here and also I do want to note with that you could see some rain showers across this entire region actually already here just one of the islands farther off towards the east here uh, right here as I'm indicating there was reports of upwards of 84 millimeters in the last 24 hours so some pretty heavy rains associated with this convection the banning in the center of the system but also I do want to note some of the outflow with the system is expected to track off towards the north here and it could affect of southeastern Japan and as you all know in the last actually two weeks uh, this entire area down here did see some heavy precipitation from Typhoon Talas that moved through that area causing a lot of damage and a lot of uh, deaths actually out there so this system could compound that problem and make it that much worse as you can see some of these heavy precipitation moving on shore uh, basically from the outflow of this system and a lot of that uh, basically up uplift enhanced by a stationary boundary up towards the north could enhance those rain showers so one thing I do want to mention is that you could see some very heavy precipitation the possibility of mudslides and landslides here along the east coast of Japan and specifically in those areas that have already been devastated by the previous typhoon. So uh, even though the storm does continue to remain and linger down towards the south, still those outflow can move on shore. So really don't want to discount this uh, system even if you are away from the center of circulation at this time. But for now, the forecast from JTWC here does show the storm 
basically lingering over Okinawa, slowly drifting down towards the south here by the early part of next week. I think in the long range it could get hooked up with a trough off towards the north and basically start to move back towards the northeast, towards Japan. So we want to really watch this storm over the coming days, but also into next week it could continue to persist and could continue to be a nuisance out here. And basically, uh, if it does continue to linger over Okinawa, the rain associated with this is going to be the uh, apox or the basically the the worst part of the system is that it's going to be this continuous rains out here. And radar actually is already showing that some of these convective bandings east of Okinawa and much of the Riku Islands here starting to see these bandings, these higher cloud tops are where you're seeing those heavy thunderstorms. So just want to continue to watch these as you track off towards the west and start to come on shore. Not only some pre high precipitation amounts could come out of these, but some lightning and thunderstorms and damaging winds are also associated with that as this storm is still a tropical storm packing winds upwards. 40 gusting to 60 knots as indicated here on JMA's forecast. Actually current pressure on this 990 HPA. So uh, starting to deepen on the system and it's still expected to intensify as it does move off towards the west here and starts to linger over the Eagle Islands. But that is all for today's update everyone. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions on what you would like to see better on these updates or anything that you would like to improve upon, please let me know by commenting in the comment box below or you can email me here at westpacweather at gmail.com. But thanks again for listening. Hope you have a great day and stay safe out there.